This is just a fun video. Uh, if you like to invent things, design things, a lot of the woodworkers out there are familiar with uh, SketchUp. SketchUp has a, a part of their program. You can download it directly to a 3D printing company. And I just wanted to try, try that out. I had seen other companies talking about how they made um, parts of their jigs were 3D printed to uh, hold something in place. So they would manufacture something uh, specifically that would hold you know, a magnet, for example, or something like that. And uh, then they would send it to Shapeways or another 3D printing company. And I thought it would be just fantastic. I thought it'd be interesting. And we're really at the very beginning of this industry. It's like the personal computer in the early 80s. Uh, I just see tremendous amount of uh, future for this. Just it's fascinating. Let me show you what we did just for giggles and kicks. We just printed this little birdhouse and I'm going to get you a couple of close-up shots. It's fascinating. It's hollow. When you do your push-pull on your SketchUp, it, you can see it and you can, uh, as it rotates, you can see it in your mind's eye just the same way the program does. Uh, if you're, like I said, into designing things, inventing things, this is exciting. Let me show you what kind of materials that can be printed in it. You have a couple of options when you go to 3D printing. You can get it printed out in stainless steel. You can get it printed out in aluminum. You can get it printed out in nylon. You can get it in different colors of uh, nylon. You can get it in acrylic. And it's a high uh, detail acrylic, they're saying. And this is fascinating also. It's a bendable acrylic in case one of your parts might need something like that. It's not super expensive. It's not super inexpensive depending on how much uh, plastic or metal you're going to be using or what type of... But it's kind of cool. It's the future. I'll catch you on the next one.